بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا كبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Respected elders, brothers, sisters, mothers and children السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We hope and pray you are all well with the mercy of Almighty Allah We start by praising Almighty Allah, our Creator, our Sustainer, our Provider the one who changes the day into the night and the one who changes the night into the day. We thank him and praise him at all times. We also send salutations and blessings to our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everyone listening is requested to recite durood. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Respected listeners, welcome back to the Jamia Masjid Dean Star Show this Saturday. May Allah reward you all for joining us. This is where the children from all over the country are taking part and performing live on air. The phone number for them to call is 07563579515. And subhanAllah, we've had so many children become more and more confident. And every Friday, as you know, we have a Durood challenge as well. And many people have been messaging in with their Durood count because people prayed all the way up to Maghrib yesterday. And inshallah, we'll give you the total. And uh, subhanAllah, this Friday, the response has been unbelievable. Before you phone in, you need to get permission from your parents or your guardian. And uh, your age range for boys is 4 till 16, and for girls it's 4 till 12. And when you phone in, you need to sit still and move away from the receiver system. When you phone in, you can pray Quran, Nasheeds, Du'as, Hadith, any positive messages, stories, and you need to try and stick to the three minute rule, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, yesterday, uh, as you know, it's been our fifth Friday since we've been doing this program during the lockdown. And every Friday we have a Duru challenge. And mashallah, so many people have been messaging. So before we give you the count and the totals, let me bring in our beloved Malana Abrar al-Haqsab. Malana, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As of yesterday, before we finished, we said that uh, we hit around 260,000 duruds. And mashallah, after that, people have been messaging in. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. People and, have been messaging, alhamdulillah. And you're going to be given the task to total it up. I know it's going to take a bit of time, but it's okay. You carry on, inshallah. But just to let you all know that we do this durud challenge because we love our beloved Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We do this for the pleasure of Almighty Allah. Yes, to compete in good is very, very good and encouraging, but our intentions need to be very, very clean. And this way, inshallah, we can gain as much reward as possible. Now, subhanAllah, so many people have messaged in, so I'm going to try and give you the numbers because people have messaged. So, Firstly, Raisa chopped that message in later as well, and they prayed total 48,000 duruds. Subhanallah. Ma'awwiz, Mula, and family, they carried on praying till Maghrib. They did 66,100. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Um, we have Sumaya Bismillah from Bradford, and their durud count was 128,469. Wow. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. 128,469 from Sumeya, Bismillah, Bradford and family and friends. MashaAllah, which means this Friday, Sumeya, Bismillah, uh, looking so far, looking so far, they came on top, MashaAllah. Thereafter, it was always in second position and family. And in third position, we had Raisa Chobdat. Right, okay, subhanAllah. We will give you the full total very, very shortly. Um, but I think we've got a call coming through. We'll take the call first before we give you the final total. Let's take this call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, what's your name? Muhammad Yasin Sidat. Muhammad Yasin, how are you? Are you okay? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah for asking. What do you want to pray today? A surah. A surah. Whenever you're ready, start. A'udhu 
بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون والتوم سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تكوين ثم وجدناه أسفل السافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بيحكم الحاكمين سلك الله والعظيم ما شاء الله محمد ياسين said a very good try very good try learning big big surahs may Allah make it easy for you may Allah accept جزاك الله في كولد سلام عليكم وعليكم سلام ما شاء الله ما شاء الله لا إله إلا الله ياسين said that amazing little boy I'm praying new things every day sometimes dua sometimes surahs may Allah bless him ما شاء الله سؤال جوا شين the durud count now I need to mention something here that uh, a particular teacher from Madrasa Islamia took part in the Duru challenge and he asked his students to take part in the Duru challenge. Now this teacher has two classes, one is year three and one is year four. And yesterday they took part in the Duru challenge and the year three students in total prayed 169,391 duruds. Subhanallah. What's up? That's year three boys, which are small children. 169,000. It shows the amount of love for durud and love for Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, these innocent hearts and the young children have. Subhanallah. Mashallah. And the year four class, what's up? They prayed 63,733 durus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted from both classes and also accepted from the Ustad who gave the above of encouragement, mashallah. Inshallah, that will go into his account as well, inshallah. inshallah. And this is, I think, a, a very positive, mashallah, because all the Ustads listening out there or Appas listening out there, if they can try and do this every Friday, Imagine how much duruds will be sent to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah, inshallah. Imagine how much durud can be sent from just one masjid or one madrasa. Inshallah. So this is, so this is an eye opener for everyone and lesson for everyone, inshallah. Because I don't know about Jamia here, but uh, other madrasas may have 20 classes, 30 classes. Ji, yeah. ji, ji. And now we're very fortunate we have big, big masjids and madrasas. Um, if two classes have pay, prayed oh, nearly 220,000. Subhanallah. That's two classes. That's two classes only. <laughs> so imagine there was 20. <laughs> right. And we've got a message come through from Jewsbury. Another 10,000 Duruds. So, oh, we've got another message coming through. Another 20,000 Mosab has been prayed from another group. Mashallah in Yorkshire. So Yorkshire's taking part. Alhamdulillah. Lots of people have messaged in after we finished yesterday, which is very, very good because people want to pray all the way up till Maghrib. And now the total. Uh, for this Friday, Duru challenge from all of you is this is a record, subhanAllah, 676,344. MashaAllah, Takbir. Allahu Allah, 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 Allah is so great. 676,344. For week five, MashaAllah, this is unbelievable. The week before it was 247, which means we have nearly tripled in one Mash week. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Wow. We've had nearly around 28 participants, MashaAllah. And then obviously from there they have their families and friends. And Wow. Imagine. Even the person who's paid 10 or 60, even that, inshallah, has been included in this. Imagine how busy the angels were taking the durud. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Yeah, inshallah, and it's multiplied. They never get tired. They never get tired. And it's multiplied by 700. Minimum. Inshallah, inshallah. Well, I can't be, I don't know what to say. We never ever thought that in one week we'd hit so many duruds. But it goes to show that if we contact our friends, family, if we encourage our students, our children, they can take part. And before this lockdown, we never ever thought that we would be praying so much durood. No, 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 we didn't. We had so same time, we've still got the same 24 hours, we're still living in the same, breathing same. But imagine how much time that we've lost before today. 
This lesson is lesson for us. It's a lesson. It's a wake up call. It means that going forward, even when the lockdown finishes, we have to make time. Inshallah. We have to keep our tongues busy in remembering Allah and sending durood to Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this week's total six hundred and seventy six thousand three hundred and forty four in one day. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. So I'm going to ask you to do a total now for the five weeks. How many durus have you prayed since day one? If you can try and work that out for us. Um, <coughs> Alhamdulillah. So we, we'll try and get you that figure as well. Just to encourage you and all the children, all the parents, all the listeners out there, and all these uh, Ustads and Appas who are teaching, that we can try and improve and try and pray more and more every week. I mean, in the first week we had 89,000. And compare that to yesterday, 676,000. In total, I hope you're ready for this, we have prayed 1 million... 414,347 duruds. Allahu Akbar. Wow. 1,414,347 duruds by this program and the children who are listening to Jamia Masjid's Dean Star Show. MashaAllah. Almost one and a half million duruds have been recited by these innocent children and the families. May Allah reward every single person that has taken part. May Allah bless you all. And if you multiply that by 700, I don't know if the calculators can cope. Subhanallah. 990 million. 990 million rewards. Wow. Times by 70. 63 billion. <laughs> 69 billion. I think the calculator is struggling, but Allah and His calculations will never struggle. And on the day of Qiyamah, and once we leave this world, we will all get to see these rewards, inshallah. Well done to all of you. Masa, I don't know what to say. What, what, what words do you have for these children? MashaAllah, la quwwata illa billah. That's a dua you should recite when you see something amazing, something beautiful. I think you were Sheikh Yunus Rahmatullahi Alayhi, one of the, you know, the great scholar of our time who passed away recently, not many years ago. Somebody mentioned about him. He had a watch. So somebody saw that watch, and it was a very beautiful watch to him, and he very liked it. So somebody came and he saw it, he goes, wow. Then very, you know, same day or a few days later, he stopped working. So Shaykh Yunus said that only if that person said, Masha Allah, la quwwata illa billah, then there wouldn't be any nazar on it. So because of that person giving nazar, then he just broke and vanished and not useful anymore. So that's why we should always say when we hear something about this, you know, something amazing, something beautiful, even if they are on our own children by looking at them and we want to praise them. We should always say, Masha Allah, la quwwata illa billah, to protect them from that evil eye and from that nazir. So, not only Masha Allah, you should also include, Masha Allah, la quwwata illa billah. Okay. So, that's what we can say, Alhamdulillah, that these children who have took part in yesterday's durood and durood before as well, Masha Allah, la quwwata illa billah, Allah accept it from them and protect them from any evil eye and keep them firm on this, inshallah. Inshallah, we need to try and continue this every week. The challenge is going to be next week <laughs> to see if we can beat that. But mashallah, well done to all those that took part. So, yeah, Bismillah family from Bradford. Then we've got Mu'awiz and family. We've got Raisa chopped at. We've got all the small, small ones as well, mashallah. All the Madrasa students that took part. Year three boys from Madrasa Islamia, 169,391. Year four, 63,733. Mashallah. So, yeah, Bismillah Bradford did 128,000 plus. Wow. Amazing. Mu'awiz and family did 66,100. These are one individual families we're talking about here. And Raisa Chobda and family did 48,000. MashaAllah. And uh, it's great to see. I just I just never expected this to happen, Masab. Because um, these are small children. I mean, the <coughs> weather's nice. They're stuck at home. They still have schoolwork to do. They've got madrasa to do. And it's just the same as before, really, but the difference is they're at home. Yeah? Before they had to go out to school, go out to madrasa. But they're doing the same things at home, but yet they're still making time to do the dhikr and 
to send the durood. Alhamdulillah, they are. Alhamdulillah. See, it's amazing how how they are um, putting the efforts behind it. And they're making the time. This is the key thing here. And I think when we go back to school and madrasa, we need to make time for Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Before we were so busy in this dunya, we were so busy running around, we didn't have time. I'm talking about myself here. We didn't have time to do zikr or pray. We never gave time. But this lockdown has happened for a reason. It's to wake us up. It's a wake-up call. And through this we have learned that we can make time for our Creator. We can send durood. And this Jamia Masjid Deen Stars program also has proved that it is possible. Inshallah, it is possible. And a very important lesson, that once the restrictions are taken away, we should be more attached to our deen now. More attached to the masjid, more attached to the madrasa, and you know, give priority to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to his deen, and prepare ourselves Instead of just, um, you know, being running after this world. Because running after this world, people who are wealthy, even they're struggling in this virus. So wealth didn't stop the virus coming to them. True. true. <coughs> okay, I think we've got a call coming through. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, what's your name? Mu'awiz Mula. Mu'awiz, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm Fanawaji and how is Mula Abdullah? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah Mu'awiz, well done to you and your family. MashaAllah, you prayed a lot of durood once again. How does it feel to pray so many Alhamdulillah. duruds? Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept it. Ameen, ameen. How many people helped you this time? <laughs> 20. 20, mashallah. There you go. Ma always is getting the word out to his family and friends, and mashallah, you're doing very well. I'm so proud of you, Ma always, and your family. Mashallah. La quwwata illa billah. As Masab just told us to learn, so we all need to try and say that. What would you like to pray today, Ma always? Oh, mashallah. That's a bit difficult, that one. Okay, whenever you're ready, start. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة رسول من الله يتلو شهدا مطهرا فيها كتب قيمة وما تفوق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة وما أؤمنوا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين ثنفاء ويقيموا الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين في نار جهنم في نار جهنم خالدين فيها أولئك هم شر البرية إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك هم خير البرية جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم وراهوا عنه ذلك لمن خشي ربه صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله جزاك الله ما was that was beautiful may Allah reward you and your family uh, and are you fasting no. No, okay, mashallah. I'm doing half. Half, half, okay, that's good. That's good. When you're a bit older, you can keep the full ones, okay? Yeah. Mashallah. Jazakallah for calling. 
جزاك الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. That was more, always, ما شاء الله, always taking part in our Duru challenges and always coming on the top or first or second position, ما شاء الله. And he got twenty people involved, ما شاء الله. A young boy. الحمد لله shows a lot of confidence in him as well. Mashallah. May Allah bless him and may Allah protect him and his family as, as well. And we say, Mashallah, la quwwata illa billah. Beautiful dua, Mashallah. And we should always say that when something amazing happens or somebody does something good, Inshallah. So if you've just joined in, yesterday's duru total was 676,344. MashaAllah in one day and that is absolutely unbelievable and in the first week Masa we only had 89,000 We only had 89,000 see and there's a big jump there 676 six. <coughs> Amazing amazing MashaAllah people taking part uh, and it shows that once you get the word out and you contact your family friends everything is possible Alhamdulillah and we pray for acceptance which is the main thing Allah keep us all sincere and give us the ability to do this more often and we have to remember that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has done so much for his Masab he cried yes. he never used to sleep he used to be hungry he used to pray for us even on his last moments he was thinking of the Ummah he did he did wherever he went he was talking about the Ummah the Ummah in this life as well he thought about he thought about us he made du'as for us and even on the day of judgment he's going to think about us a very very famous narration where people will be saying myself 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 but nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying my ummah my ummah my ummah so even at that, at that time he's going to be worried about us so Allah. little what you can do is beside the ruh sharif and the most important is to follow his sunnats. Sunnats in every aspect of our life. Alhamdulillah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi has been a practical model for us. How Allah wants us to be, you know, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is a model for us. That we want to be like the Prophet. Inshallah, in that way, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will give us, you know, entrance, entry, entry into Jannah in the first glance. Inshallah, in the first glance. Inshallah. inshallah, Inshallah. You're right, Muslim. And talking about uh, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, um, are we going to be giving hadith over the next few days for the children to learn? I think we should do it. A small, small hadith is the sayings of the Prophet. Alhamdulillah, Prophet Sallallahu narrations are so amazing. They might be in just a couple of words, but they hold so much meaning. In some hadith, it's, you know, the scholars have wrote volumes and volumes just on that one sentence of the Prophet. So inshallah in the next four days we'll give a small hadith is we'll give the Arabic and the English. Okay. So if you person if the child can learn the Arabic, it's fine. If they don't, it's okay because we don't want them to pronounce anything wrong as well. Yeah. But they should be able to pronounce say the English meaning inshallah. Brilliant, I think that's a very good idea. And what is the first hadith you'd like the children? The to first learn? hadith is is Atuhuru Shatrul Iman. Atuhuru Shatrul Iman. The cleanliness is half of faith cleanliness is half of iman now as i mentioned scholars have written volumes and books and books and on this you know what this hadith means in brief we need to make sure that we have external cleanliness and internal cleanliness external cleanliness meaning our body our hygiene surroundings internal cleanliness refers to hatred jealousy anger um, love of this wealth uh, love of the world and etc that's all internal you know cleanliness that we need to remove all of these illnesses from our hearts and all this dirt of the uh, heart so we need to have external cleanliness and internal cleanliness in that way a person will be able to achieve half of his faith inshallah there you go at-tuhuru shatrul iman Okay, that's what you need to learn. Cleanliness is half of faith. A beautiful hadith. Inshallah, we will be back tomorrow around quarter past four. And um, until then, uh, Jazakallah to all of you for tuning in. And well done for reaching 676,344 duruds. May Allah accept from us all. Remember, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Khairun nas, mayyan fa'un nas. The best of mankind are those who benefit mankind. Until tomorrow. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته